All right. We are doing something very different. So we're doing um, 10 fast squats. This connection. I'm sorry, y'all. 10 planks and then 10 slow squats. So this is going to be about squats and planks right now. Okay? If you just joined, my name is Felicia Starks. Hey. Hey, Marithia. I can't see it. Brian, my connection keeps going in and out. And I was trying to move it. I have certain areas in the house that... Um, trying to give it time. Okay. All right. So we're doing 10 fast squats. I'm doing... Hold on, guys. If y'all knew what I went through before this happened. <laughs> All right. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I had some technical difficulties. So I'm having to make a few adjustments. Sorry, I'm having to do it while we're live, but that's instead of canceling. All right, so we're doing squats. Hopefully y'all can see my legs. All right. Whoa. All right. Ooh, I'm so sorry, y'all. I apologize. Okay. Hold on. The only way I know to, to make this work, I'm having to change this right now. This was not in the plan. But I had some stuff that happened right before the broadcast. So let's see. Hold on, y'all. Hey, JoJo. All right. Um. Okay. So we're doing 10 fast squats. So we're starting now. Your squats, you want to make sure your knees don't go over your toes. So we're doing 10. All right, I'm counting. You go. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, now we're doing... 10 planks, 10 plank, oops, hold on, I know what, I, this is what I'm going to do, uh uh, they don't work either, alright, so we're doing 10 planks, so you either like this, for beginners, you can get down on your elbows. For 10 seconds, we're holding this plank. Starting, starting now. If you're a beginner, you're down here either on your knees. If you're advanced, you're up like this. 10 seconds, that's it. All right. We're moving to slow squats. We're doing 10 at a time. When you're doing squats, you wanna make sure that your knees don't go over your feet. So, we're doing 10. We're going slow. This is two. Three. If you're just joining, we just started. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm, I'm, I'm on the side. 
because I want to make sure that y'all can see how you're supposed to be doing it. All right. All right, now, we're doing five, five fast push-ups, and this is what they look like. If you're a beginner, this is what it looks like. You can go on your knees, and you're going like this. If you're a me intermediate or advanced, it's only five. You can do five of anything. All right, let's go. Three, four, five. So when you do your push-ups, you want to make sure that your chest is down to the ground. All right. Now, we're doing a lot of upper, upper body, and we're doing lower. So the next thing we're doing is plank ups. Let's see if I can adjust this some more. So this is what it looks like. So plank ups, I'm turning to the side so you can see. So you can either do it on your knees or not. If you're on your knees, you're going like this five times. If you're advanced or intermediate, you're up, holding your core so you're not doing a lot of moving around. So we're doing five. I count. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five. All right. Y'all all right? Y'all still there? I don't see any hearts. If y'all not, if you're not working out with me, please share this. Now, we're doing five slow push-ups. So this, if you are a beginner, I would advise you to get on your knees. And we're doing a slow push-up. This is what it looks like. So it's going to burn on purpose. All right, let's go. If you're advanced or intermediate, you're up like this, your butt is not like this, it's flat like this. So let's do five. One, two, three, four, five. Kendra, hey Candace, you still breathing? <laughs> okay, we're going back up, so you're gonna stand up. We're doing side to side of lunges. So this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna do fast. All right. So we're gonna do ten on this side and ten on your left. All right. So this is what what they should look like. So you sticking your butt out, the side would look like this. Okay? We're doing 10 on this side. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. The connection is tripping because of the Wi-Fi. We're moving over to the left side, okay? Go fast. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. Now, we have plank jacks. Nicole. Nicole. I and I'm gonna wish you luck. I know that you already have done the work. So I am gonna congratulate you in advance on being your part. So proud of you. Okay, we're doing plank jacks. This is what they look like. Right now. All right. Plank jacks look like this. I hope y'all can see me. So, if you're a beginner, 
Your leg is gonna clap and come in. If you're advanced, holding your abs in. All right, we're doing 10. Again, beginner is like this. Okay, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That wasn't so bad, right? That wasn't so bad. Okay, good. Okay. We're going lunges. We're doing those lunges again, but we're doing them slow. Okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. My aunt is calling me in the middle of my workout. <laughs> All right. All right. Let's go to the left side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hold that chest up. Eight, nine. Okay. All right. We are going to. We have one more thing we're doing. Let's see. What time is it? Hey, Latanya. Hey, Felicia. Okay. Jump squats. If you are a beginner, we're going to do regular squats. We're going to do jump squats and then jump lunges. So, jump squats. This is what they look like. If you are a beginner, all you're doing is this. You're going up and down, up and down, up and down. If you are advanced or intermediate, intermediate or advanced, okay, we're doing 10. All right? Ten. Know what your level is, and then let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. When you're doing those squats, make sure your knees are not going over your toes. Now we're doing jumping lunges. Beginners. Your lunges are going to look like this. Switching legs. That's it. Making sure you take a big enough step so your knee can go down. This is what you're doing. If you are advanced or intermediate, you should be able to do this. We're doing 10 of these. All right? 10. Pick your level. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Woo! All right. Now. We got some more planks to do. Hey, Tiffany. Hey, Lysandra. All right. We are going to do some planks and then we'll be done. So the plank, you're doing on the plank. If you are a beginner, you're like this with a leg up. If you are advanced, like this. Pick your level. Stay in your lane. You won't get hurt. All right? We're counting to 10. Just. All right, let's go. Four. 
four, three, two, one. We're switching legs. So we're actually doing 20 seconds. All right, do the other leg. Engage your abs. All right. Hold on just one second. All right. We want to stretch. We got to stretch. So make sure for your stretches, you're stretching out your legs, stretching out your quads on both legs. I already feel them. I, I had a leg day yesterday. Another something else you can do is reach down and stretch like this. Stretch your back out. Go over to your right side. Now go over to your left. Mm -hmm. Stretch out your arms. If you have not shared this, please share it on your wall. <clears throat> the only link I have is to my website. <clears throat> Nothing for you by. And hug yourself. It might be the first hug you had of the day, but you got to love on yourself. So, what's the other thing? Let me see. Just a second. I'm trying to get this my um wi-fi thank you amy okay so i said we were going to talk about how the fitness industry has the fitness industry has failed us <clears throat> and it's not your fault that you um are struggling with weight being able to maintain it I'm gonna tell you why if I can get this connection all right how was that workout give me some hearts if you did that workout and you feel it already mmm Man, I tell you what. Okay, I'm just going to have to hold it. All right. So, the fitness industry has failed us because um, it is pretty much all about... Thank you for the hearts. I appreciate you guys. Pretty much everything is about getting... Losing weight really, really fast. Um... And you can lose weight really, really fast. The thing is, if you don't know how to maintain it, meaning with your meals, you will gain weight. And so if you are one where you've lost a lot of weight before and you gained it back, stop trying to go the fast route. You know you have a reunion that's coming up in July. Don't wait until... April to start working on it start working now all right so slow progress is going to yes good slow progress is always going to be better than really quick fast because you learn how to eat you learn how you you see your body transition and there's you appreciate it more because you worked hard for it so if you guys are not already connected to my Felicia Starks fitness page, you can go there. Um, there's a, I have the seven day healthy habits challenge there that you can get. It's free. You can also, there's a lot of stuff on my website that I listed. Um, <laughs> good. This is a really quick workout because I had some technical difficulties at the beginning and I wanted to, um, respect your time and keep it still to 30 minutes um i'll make sure that all my because my little my holder let me show you 
like this broke like I was setting it up and it broke on me so I just had to make I had to make some other arrangements but I appreciate you guys that join me every week so um, let me give you some quick some those of you that are not um, connected already on my page because I'm going to give you some tips so that you can get through Thanksgiving without worried about, you know, gaining weight. So, um, a couple tips. So, next week, you want to keep your meals light. When I say keep your meals light, I want you to still eat. However, you want to be light. Take it easy on your carbs. When I say carbs... Um, you know that you're, you know that you have that aunt that, um, hey, Tawanda, you know you have that aunt that, <laughs> that makes your favorite dessert or make favorite peach cobbler or, or whatever. So during the week, focus on protein and vegetables. Thursday, um, and even up to Thursday, Make sure you get lots of water. So you should be drinking at least a half a gallon, not half, half of your body weight in water on a daily basis. If no other time this coming week, make sure you stay hydrated. Hey, Monica. So stay hydrated. Um, fill up on your meat or your protein and your vegetables. And then on Thursday, you're want, you want to have breakfast or you can fast. If you're going to fast, I am working out Thursday morning and I'm working out Thursday evening. So I'm doing a two a day and it'll be live. Um, but make sure you, if you can get in on that workout, get in on the workout. And maybe you can, it'll be a, it's going to be a short hit, uh, cardio workout. You can do that fasted. If you're not doing heavy weights, you can do a workout fasted. Now, if you have high blood pressure and stuff like that, then you need to take your meds and get a, something in your stomach. But the key is to um, create a deficit. You want to work at a deficit. You know what deficit is? Deficit deficit means that you are, that it's, it's a little bit less than you normally have. So if you have a deficit going into Thanksgiving... You can enjoy Thanksgiving with your family. Don't try to wear those um, sweatpants so your stomach can expand. Wear your normal clothes that you wear. And how about making sure you get lots of water. And if you want, feel like you need to go back for seconds, go back for seconds. But don't overdo it. Remember, leading up to Thursday, the goal is creating a deficit. So you want to eat, but easy on the carbs. When I say carbs, your starchy carbs, your rice, unless you're working out, you just chill out on them. That way you have a very good deficit going into Thursday. You can enjoy Thursday. Your goals will still be there. You're not going to go crazy you're going to enjoy yourself and then friday you're going to be back on it now um lovely i will be doing a workout probably at 8 a.m central time on thursday morning and then i'll have my normal workout at 8 30 p.m central time um thursday evening so remember the goal is create a deficit meaning light so eat, get get your if you know how many protein and carbs and fat that you need, get that in, but light on the carbs. So, no happy hour in it. I mean, your goals are still there. And this is only for the people, the only person that I'm talking to is a person who has goals that wants to still be able to enjoy their family. So if you don't, if you're not trying to lose weight and you're wanting to maintain, do your thing. But I'm talking to the person that wants to be able to enjoy Thanksgiving next week and enjoy all the festivities of um, 
enjoying that red velvet, the banana pudding, whatever that your family's gonna have. And if you decide to go house hopping, then you save room. Take your water with you. Okay? Stay hydrated. Deficit leading up to um, Thanksgiving and Friday. You have that one leftover meal. When I say one, one leftover meal, and you're done. We're not Thanksgiving it all the way to Sunday. So, if you having dinner and you having guests, send that food with them. You have your one plate for Friday or Saturday, and you're done. Because it's not something you would be normally eating anyway. So why have it sitting there to tempt you? I am only here to help. If you are maintaining or you are happy with where you are, this message is not for you. Yes, Monica and Kurt. <laughs> Enjoy on Thursday. Enjoy on Friday or Saturday, but not both. So Thursday and one more on either Saturday and Friday. And then call it a day because your goals are still there. And that's the only reason that I'm talking to y'all about this. I'm being realistic because I know you're going to still eat. So enjoy your family. Remember that you only get one family, right? So if your parents are still living, show some extra love. No fighting. Let's just like give, be grateful. So... How about this? How about before you I end this broadcast or even afterwards, you post something right now that you can think one thing that you can think of that you're grateful for. Because you remember that. This is the week of being thankful. You should be thankful every all the time. But let's be more mindful of it going into next week to post one thing that you're grateful for no weekend binge is that is that our plan you know what Tanya um, this is a soundtrack that I have from uh, SoundCloud and it's just a mix of different songs Nicole is going to come back with her pro card so Nicole Cravens everyone please pray um, pray for her um, that she stays focused that she does everything that she's supposed to do. She is in. She's also in Miami competing for her pro card. And she has earned it. And she looks amazing. So please send her lots of love. No luck because she doesn't need luck. She worked for it. So Nicole Cravens. My. I wouldn't take. I'm not going to take my hat off. But I salute you my sister. And I am praying for all of God's will to be done for you to get your pro card. Hey, Jeanette, uh, can we keep the protein and veggies left over? Right. You can keep the protein and veggies. Um, the veggies, yes, Mark, I'm grateful that you can still walk. So, greens, yes. Your black, broccoli, rice, and cheese, mm-mm, that's too much. Hey, Drea. So, no, no ma'am on the, the broccoli, rice, and cheese, but your veggies, any of your veggies, even if it's like cabbage, your greens, um, sweet potatoes that are um, like with sugar, I'm going to say no. Yes, Latanya, I am going to post that, that um, track on sound, I mean on Facebook, because I have found a lot of, um, artists that are independent that have great great music and that soundtrack is the only way that I can can have music playing in the background without Facebook blocking um, the sound on my videos so SoundCloud is my new friend so don't forget to post what you're grateful for and remember focus on yes Nicole y'all connect with Nicole send her lots of love um, create a deficit next week going into next week so water protein veggies save your calories and your macros and your carbs for Thursday enjoy your family 
Um, I'm working out on Thursday morning, so you can join me. I'm working out on Thursday night. So if you do both of those workouts, guess what? You're going to have a crazy deficit. And guess what? I'm setting you up so you can actually lose more weight, even with you eating dinner on Thursday. Can you believe that? Y'all should give me some extra, extra hearts for taking care of y'all, right? So, I am going to go, if you guys don't have any more questions, I will post everything that we did here. So, everyone that comes, if you're watching this on a replay, you will know exactly what to do. But remember, create a caloric deficit going into Thursday. If you're not doing a heavy workout, your carbs should be light. Your carbs should only be veggies. Like sweet potatoes would be fine, but I wouldn't do any rice or anything like that because if you want to if you want to enjoy that German chocolate cake, if you want that red velvet cake, don't make me start with the um with the uh you name it challenge. I cannot sing, but the greens, ham, the turkey, the cabbage. <laughs> Um, it's Joyce. We're going to be working out at 8 o'clock in the morning. I know it's early, but I can go ahead and get it done, do a quick hit, and I'll be done. It's probably going to be like 15, 20 minutes at the most. So, um, if y'all don't have any more questions, I'm going to let you go. But don't forget to post what you're grateful for, okay? And show lots and lots and lots and lots of love to your your fellow Man, and remember that God loves you, and he is so wanting a relationship with you guys. Talk to you later.